Hi everyone, my name is Brelias. I'm a 3D artist and director from Chile. My work specializes in surreal imagery with topics of nostalgia, human connection, nature and abandonment. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to walk you through my process, showing you how to achieve this piece using Blender. It's time to work on the smaller details. First of all, I want to cover this character in flowers. So I will do the same as I did with the ground. I'm thinking of using the same model as the clovers, as it has little flowers on them. This time I will select the random distribution, rather than the manual one. Here you can see it's not scattering anything, and it's because I had selected the scatter the viewport selection while it had the armature selected, so I changed it to browser selection, so it scatters the clovers selected on the asset browser. Now it's fixed. I'm going to add more instances. And I'm going to make them smaller. The nice thing about doing it this way is that every instance is linked to the model so that I can move the armature and it should still stick to the character. Right now I'm trying to make the pose a bit better and maybe have the character interact with the water. I also try to add some details to the body, like some flowers. Now I will start giving some more love to the plants, starting with some ivies.
I will add some rocks. Using these widths, I will create another scattered particle system for the ground. These will be tiny detailing widths that will go around almost every patch of vegetation and objects. I will change their scale and rotation so it's a bit more random, and I will scatter them across the scene. I'm going to activate the volumes again, which already makes it look so much better. But I think I will add another one just to make a clearer division with the background. Everything is looking great, but I would like to make the character's shape a bit more visible. The idea is to give it a pose that feels natural, but also looks good with the light in the scene. I think removing the ivies on the character is a good way of making it more understandable. Adding objects to foreground is a good way of separating planes and giving the artwork more depth.
Now that the scene is fuller, I can try to add back the flowers. I will try to use the flowers to highlight the character. I will use AGX grayscale look to check the values in my scene. It's a great way to check for the contrast in it and see if everything looks right. Now, I want this part to be more destroyed. So I wanted to use the multi-resolution modifier on the ground to scope the details like that. That didn't work because the boolean operation left the geometry super messy. and I couldn't find a way to fix it. So I duplicated the ground and sculpted it with the dynamic topology enabled, so I didn't need to worry about fixing the geometry. Here I want to add the same moss that I have on the walls, but now on the crevices on the ground. So I will create a simple shader tree with the geometry node, connecting the pointiness value to a color ramp and using that as a mask. So then I'll just copy the moss shader into the ground and mix it with the ground material. Right now, I like how it's looking, so I will proceed to refine the lining in the next part. <laughs> 